So my name's Leanne Perro and I'm a 33-year-old breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed um, two years ago, a couple of days after my 31st birthday. So I began blogging to kind of aid my own recovery. And when I began blogging, I published my blogs online. Um, and I just got really, really overwhelmed by the amount of um, ladies that reached out to me, other people that were the same age, a bit older, even younger, or people who had gone through similar situations like my own, but were also really, really suffering. So I took it upon myself to start my own support group. Um, and because I was get, by then I was getting a lot of messages, I was getting asked a lot of questions about treatment, recovery. And so I decided to, why not bring everybody together? And so I started to run like a support group. I had done a dinner that I managed to get sponsorship for. Um, and it was all aimed at aiding these ladies' recovery after their diagnosis and their treatment. And what really stuck out to me was the amount of uh, BME women that were coming forward and actually reaching out to me, talking about how they were suffering. Yes, I was really, really inspired to create um, the Black Women Rising project just by the voices and the, and the things that I heard about people's experiences. You know, even walking into um, you know your your local cancer centre to take advantage of the free wig that you're supposed to get. Um, going in, that was my own experience, going in to go and collect my free wig and was told actually, no, we're out of all the wigs in the ethnic section. For me, that was such a huge thing that our voices are going unheard and that, you know, even in like, the cancer blogging world, I never found women that I could relate to that were the same as me. And one day I just came to work and there's a local photographer that is um, based at my workplace and she just, I said to her, look, would you mind taking a picture of my scars? And she said, Leanne, if that would be anything that I could do that would be rewarding out of my work would be to do that. We did a test shoot, there was two of us. We'd done a test shoot and um, it came out amazing. It was actually just really, really powerful to see our scars actually right there in front of our faces. Um, and then it just inspired me to get more women involved. So I just put a call out. Um, at first, I kind of had an idea of just to have eight women because I thought that was a nice solid number. That number turned into 14 um, with a waiting list as well. My future, good question. Um, I'm one of those people, it's funny because I'm one of the people and I've always been like this in my career. I had a lot of success in my career at such an early age. And so by the time I got into my 20s, my whole thing was about consistency and it was about finding inner peace. The same thing happened when I got cancer. It was like, as long as I can focus on being happy within myself, whatever comes with life comes. I take every day as it comes. I would be lying if I sat here and said, oh, I want to have this amount of children and I want to be married by the time I'm this age and I want to have a house by this age. Those are all things I want, yeah, but I'm not going to sit here and, and say that that's something that bothers me on a daily basis because it's not. I take every day as it comes. And one thing I'm very, very thankful for is that with my all clear diagnosis, I've been given another shot at life and I don't take that for granted. It's something that I'm very, very uh, grateful for. Um, and I just live every day as it comes. Mm -hmm.